everybody, this is Dan for Gamby D on Cars. Now, I'm starting this review on the inside of the car because here in uh, Central PA in Harrisburg, it is about 26 degrees outside right now and it's been windy as hell. And there is a car, there's a some sort of vehicle doing construction behind me. So I'm gonna stay nice and quiet in here. But today, we are taking a look at a 2021 Volkswagen Passat. Now, this is a part of the midsize uh, sedan segment, which is very competitive. Uh, we all know there's the Honda Accord, the Toyota Camry. Mazda 6, Kia K5, uh, now the uh, Subaru Legacy. So there are so many options in this class and there are a couple things that set this car apart at the moment. This car uh, retails for about $30,000, but Sutliff Volkswagen here on Paxton Street in Harrisburg is offering insane deals. This car is down to like $23,000, a brand new 2021 Volkswagen Passat, which the, the competitors are at least $30,000. This car is on sale for about $23,000. That is just an absolute amazing price. And it's this seems to be a theme for Volkswagen. When I drove the Volkswagen Atlas, it was a very nice car. The styling was nice. The performance was there. The, the space was there for a family. But it was at least $10,000 cheaper than the Kia Telluride, which was an SUV which is very nice, a little bit better to drive, a little bit styled better, but the deals that Sutliff Volkswagen is offering on this is absolutely insane. So today we're gonna walk around this car and get really cold while we do it. So let's talk about the Volkswagen Passat. Thing that holds true about Volkswagen in my opinion I think that their styling is decent I think this is by far the best looking Passat you know as they get uh, as the technology progresses this uh, the thing about Volkswagen is that their styling is sort of I'm not gonna say bland it is just nice it is not flashy it's not over the top um, doesn't look crazy like a Kia K5 with the crazy yellow LEDs in the front um, I think this is one of the better looking sedans in the class uh, up there with the Mazda 6. I think the Mazda 6 is the best looking car in the segment, but I think it looks better than a Camry. I think it looks about just as good as an Accord, um, but the same thing goes for the inside too. All the materials are nice. Um, it's just, it looks like it's a little safe and it is not a bad thing. This, this looks exactly like a Golf R that I drove a couple years ago, but the styling I think is there. The, the infotainment screen is a little bit uh, small for the class. You know, the Honda Accord and every every car in this mar uh, market, uh, in this segment has, you know, 10 inch screens and eight inch screens. And this is a little bit smaller, 6.8 inch screen. Let's take a look. So yeah, this is the interior of the Passat. Um, now this is your screen right here. And just like as always, Passats and Volkswagen design in general has always had the two round gauges in front of you, the tachometer and the speedometer. Uh, we've got a six-speed automatic right here. Here, let's start it up. Start buttons down here. Yep. That's the thing about Volkswagen. It is it is never going to be the best designed uh, interior, but I think all the materials are nice, and you've got a nice sort of piano black uh, trim right there. There's the screen right there, 6.3 inches. It's a little bit smaller than the competition, but I think it, it's okay. Um, the quality is always going to be here. Um, you've got these, uh, I think they call it, uh, leatherette seats. Uh, now this is the R-Line trim, which I think has a little bit nicer appointments and a little bit bigger wheels on the outside. I think if, if you're going to get a Passat, you got to get the R-Line trim that has the bigger wheels and just a couple little touches on the outside that make it, I think, the best looking uh, Passat that you can buy. Uh, we've got a nice sunroof up here. Now this this is going to be bigger than the Jetta and bigger than the Golf as far as space. You know, this is a mid-size uh, sedan. So Volkswagen, I think... They've always built solid, you know, German engineered cars, but I think that the competition is definitely there and there are so many options in this class um, that it's it's gonna be tough to rise, I guess, to the top of the heap. Uh, but still, I think it looks good. I think you're, uh, lot, there's a lot of, a little bit of plastic down here, which is okay. And there's not digital controls. Well, there is, still got the two, uh, the dials there to take care of everything. 
but it's not going to hit you over the head with the flashy thing. That's the thing about Volkswagens. They are they are nicely designed, but they're not going to be the most flashy in the segment, which is okay because not everybody wants, you know, a Kia K5 with the huge DRLs or, you know, a Honda Accord, which is really a really big car. That is the biggest car of the segment. But I think, I, I honestly think I would take this car over a Toyota Camry. I mean, those are going to have the reliability that you need, but I just think this car looks a little bit better. So, all right, let's take a look at the back seat. All right. Going into the back seat of the Passat. Now, there's a nice view of the front right there just to get an idea of how it looks. And I'm not going to knock this car for the materials. The materials are nice. Um, it's just pretty, pretty standard looking. I didn't see those nice aluminum pedals right there. So this is the back seat. I mean, this is where I had the seat. I mean, I'm six feet tall. Decent space back here. We do not have any information back here for HVAC controls, but you do have your two USB uh, plugins right there. That is nice. So yeah, this is, uh, I'd say typical of the segment. I think the Honda Accord and the Mazda 6 will be comparable. I know the Honda, I think, is really the biggest car of the segment. That car has the most trunk space and, you know, good styling too. But this, this I think, is ranks up there uh, for interior quality. Now we're going to take a look at the trunk space and bear with me with this uh, construction over here. Now this is the same key that I think Volkswagen has had for years and years, the little flip down key. But if you just click this button once right there, go into the trunk. Now here's here's a, a, a feature that this car has which is really cool. I mean this trunk is absolutely huge. I mean this is a big trunk. I can barely even reach reach the back of it. Uh, I will flash on the screen how this compares to like the Honda Accord and the Toyota Camry and the Mazda 6. But yeah, this is what you would want for a family car. You could fit so much stuff back in here. That is really nice. Now this car does not have an automatic trunk, which is okay. I mean, we, we get used to, you know, creature comforts like that, which is fine. So I think this trunk is pretty big. That is definitely a plus of this car. Now, just to talk about the styling of the Passat real quick, I think this this generation, the current generation that came out in 2020, is by far the best looking Passat. And I mentioned about the R line. The R line comes with a little bit, a couple badges on the trim there. Definitely the nicest looking wheels. I think Volkswagen really does make uh, attractive looking wheels. But yeah, this is a, a pretty good looking car. I like this. I like this gray color. The other cool thing about Volkswagens, they've always done like like polygon shaped sort of tail lights, which sort of kind of makes me think that it, you could see like the Audi lineage. I mean, these are both owned by the same company and it's like simple, clean design uh, headlights and taillights that I think really just work. I think there's the line right there, all LED. You got a nice little subtle lip spoiler right here, which looks pretty good. But yeah, I think this is uh, an attractive looking car. Now, that's the thing with Volkswagen. They're not gonna hit you over the head with styling. They're just very, subtly designed uh, good looking cars. Let's just go look at the front real quick. Yeah, their new design language sort of has the grills with the lights that go up a little bit. Got nice uh, LEDs in the front. But yeah, this is an attractive car and my hands are frozen. So yeah, to, to sort of sum up the Volkswagen Passat, I think it's a solid entrant in the midsize sedan uh, category. Maybe if they just took a couple little more chances uh, made the infotainment screen a little bit bigger. So just sort of went a little crazier with the styling. I think it could uh, be a little bit more competitive in the segment. So, all right, let's go back in the car. Okay, I was just outside for like three minutes and my hands are, are absolutely frozen. I'm, I'm getting uh, a little bit used to this. So anyway, to wrap up the 2021 Volkswagen Passat, um, and I just sort of touched on it a little bit. I feel like if Volkswagen would just be a little more, bit more daring with their styling, I'm not gonna take anything away from this car. I think it's a good looking car. I think this would be a nice car, you know, that will definitely compete with the Honda Accords and Mazda 6s of the world. But I think their styling needs to be a little bit more daring. You know, have a little bit bigger screen, maybe put the, the gauges or the vents on the side. Just, just people love big screens, so maybe just give it to them. Plus the, the, the price of this car is absolutely insane. You know, $6,500 off uh, from the dealer, starting with a car that is $30,000. I mean, you can get this car for, let's say at least $8,000 cheaper than the competition, which is an unbelievable deal. Um, we're gonna get this car on the road after I finish this video. I mean, I strive to, be, to give you good car content at these dealers and then there's a, the work truck behind you. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. So uh, big thank you to Sutliff Volkswagen here in Paxson Street in Harrisburg for letting me take a look at this car. A big thanks to Dan Jameson, my buddy who uh, just like two days ago, he said, hey, you should let my buddy do some car reviews. So here I am. 
So we're gonna get this car on the road. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you think this car could compete with the Honda Accords and the Toyota Camrys and the Subaru Legacies and the Mazda 6s and the Kia K5s? This is a very competitive segment. So leave me a comment below. Don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, don't forget to uh, follow me on Instagram at GamingD on Cars where you can see the cars that I review before they get to YouTube. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.